little frustrated because I heard a lot about love. And one thing that I know is it's not because of the lack of love that we're not able to feed our children. It's not because of the lack of love that we are able to house people. It's not the lack of love that we are unable to um, uh, uh, save people from dying because they don't have health care. It's not because of lack of love um, that uh, you were able to finish college because you got help with child care. If you get a good education and you work hard, you can do a lot. But love also helps. So I think the churches, being the son of a pastor, the love that you can nourish these folks is amazing. Love has nothing to do with this. And if you want to bring love into this, you got to bring radical love. Because radical love means that we radically love every single person within our communities to make sure that we are providing for them the basic rights as humans. That's what love is. And that's the godly thing to do. Mm. So if we, we want to talk about faith, we also have to remember that we can't pray our problems away. I don't find anywhere in the scripture where Jesus said that it was Caesar's job to feed the poor and to clothe the widows and to take care of the orphans. He said it was the church's. It's the church's responsibility. You can't pray for your children to be fed. So you're not crying because they're crying and they can't go to bed. You cannot pray for your medical bills to disappear. You cannot pray for the mold to stop poisoning your children in the classrooms. The other thing that frustrates me is people who have experienced poverty, who have gotten the straps for their bootstraps, who sit and talk about how we shouldn't do anything for the next person. Oh. Like some of these folks have said in here, I'm a product of being in poverty and found the only way out was to work my tail off. It's the American dream to come to a place where you have the opportunity to be as poor as you want to be or as wealthy as you want to be. See, as someone who knows severe poverty, I lived in a refugee camp on the floor, no water, nothing. And I hear somebody say here in the United States, they're fine with their grandparents not having running water. My grandparents never had running water. They died not having running water. And that's supposed to be okay? The conversations we get to have is how we are responsible for fully funding our schools so all of our children have the opportunities we have as we sit in this room. We get to talk about the kind of opportunities we have as government to make sure healthcare is provided to everybody so that we don't have people dying in the United States yes. because they can't afford insulin. The conversation we get to have is making sure that there are no children, no children going to sleep hungry or being shamed in classrooms and in lunch rooms because their families don't have enough money to pay for their lunch. The conversation we get to have about the kind of poverty we have in this country is the kind of poverty that says it is okay for us to take photo pictures with veterans and be okay with the fact that they're sleeping on the streets here in the United States. So as an immigrant, as someone who came to this country, hearing about American exceptionalism and prosperity, I am appalled mm. that we get to sit here and have conversations as Americans about being the most charitable country in the world and not being charitable enough to house our homeless, mm. feed our children, care for our veterans. What is charitable about that?